Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. We are from Group G, BKS2013 Accounting Information System. In this video, we are going to discuss about case study 1 related to Twinkle Apparel Sedan Berhad. Before we begin our presentations, let me introduce my group members. Natasha binti Muhammad Saufi, metric number 273080 Nur Fatin Izati binti Ahmad Faiz, metric number 273067 Nur Atasha Izin binti Rohaizi, metric number 273476 And lastly, Nur Hanis binti Mat Ramzi, 273482 Hi, my name is Nur Fatin Izati binti Ahmad Faiz my metric number is 273067. For part A, I'm going to present for a table of entities and activities and context diagram for the question A. And I'm also represent for the question B about strength of internal control procedures. This is the table of entities and activities for the sales order system. This table shows all the activities and entities that involves starting when the franchisee place order Preparation 5 copies of sales order form by sales representative, packing items and shipping, billing the franchisee, updates computerized subsidiary ledger, send summary to the general ledger executives, key in summary detail in computer and finally files the documents. Next, this is the table of entities and activities for the cash receipt system. It shows that the franchisee makes payment, the process of the check or bank transfer slip by the cash receipt clerk, updates in computerized debtor subsidiary ledger, and reconciliation of journal voucher and the account summary. Okay, now we go for the context diagram for sales order system. There is two external entities which is franchisee and general ledger. The flow started when the franchisee placed order. After that, franchisee will receive shipping notice from the shipping assistance and invoice from the billing clerk. Lastly, the general voucher and debtor summary will be sent to the general ledger. For the cash receipt system, the franchisee makes payment two weeks after receiving the invoice. The franchisee can send in checks or pay using online banking facilities. Then the cash receipt clerk deposits the checks with a copy of deposit slip to the bank. Lastly, the general voucher from the cash receipt clerk and the account summary from the accounts receivable clerk will be sent to the general ledger executives to reconcile before updating in the general ledger control accounts. When the sales representative receives the orders from the customer or the franchisee, the sales clerk will verify the validity of the customer. If the customer's name exists in the franchisee's list, then the sales clerk will prepare five copies sales order form. The sales representative will send Copy 1 which is item release slip to the warehouse supervisor Copy 2 and copy 3 which is packing slip and shipping notice to the shipping assistant While copy 4 and copy 5 which is invoice copy and ledger copy to the billing club Copy of franchisee order is kept in a file Warehouse supervisor receives the item release slip from the sales representative when he, when he or she receiving the item release slip, the warehouse supervisor will pick the items from the rack. He then packs the items and update the inventory ledger in the warehouse computerized system. Or she then will send the package to the shipping, shipping assistant along with the signed item release slip. A copy of the general voucher is printed from the system and sent to the general ledger club. The shipping assistant attaches a packing slip to the package and contact courier companies to pick up the parcel for shipment to the franchisee's address. 
housekeeping assistant records the shipment details for those parcels that have been collected in the computerized shipping system. The shipping assistant then forwards the item with the slip and shipping notice to the billing department. At the billing department, the club matches the invoice copy, shipping notice and the item really slip. The billing club fills in the billing details in the invoice and ledger copy. Then the club records the, then the, club records the sales in the computerized system and prints a journal voucher. The club sends the invoice to the franchisee, the ledger copy to the account receivable club and the journal voucher to the general ledger executive. Next, the item release slip is written to the warehouse supervisor, while the shipping notice is sent to the sales representative. The shipping notice is filed together with the customer order. The account receivable club will update the computerized debtors, computerized debtors subsidiary ledger and prints a copy of debtor summary. The summary is sent to the general ledger executive. The ledger copy is kept in a file. General ledger club keys in the summary details into the computer to update debtor and inventory control accounts and finally files the document. For the cash receipt system, after receiving the invoice, franchises will pay within two weeks. They can send either in checks or pay using online banking facilities. If they are using online banking facilities, online payment needs to be supported with a bank transfer slip and a scan remittance advice, which is emailed to the Twinkle Apparel's cash receipt club. If the customer pays by check, the remittance advice containing the invoice number of payments accompanies the mail check. When the cash receipt club receives check or bank transfer slips together with a copy of remittance advice from the franchisees, the club processes the receipts by preparing two copies of remittance list for all receipts and prepares a bank deposit slip. Copy 1 is attached with the collected checks and copies of bank, tra bank transfer slips. The club records the transactions in the computerized cash receipt system based on those documents and prints a journal voucher for the recorded transaction. The club sends the journal voucher to the general ledger executive, then the cash receipt club deposits the, the check with a copy of deposit slip to the bank. The club files the remittance list and bank transfer slips for reference. Further, the cash receipt club Sends copy two of the remittance list together with the, with the remittance advice to the account receivable club. The account receivable club updates the computerized debtor subsidiary ledger and prints an account summary that reflects changes in the ledgers and sends the summary to the general ledger executive. The club files the remittance list and remittance advice. The general ledger executive reconciles the Journal voucher from the cash receipts club and account summary from the account receivable club. This task is performed before updating the general ledger accounts through the terminal. Finally, the executive click keep the documents in the reference file. For the flowchart, it has similar explanation as the logical data flow diagram which is DFT but with different format. For the sales of the system flowchart, we have divided it to six division, which is sales, billing, warehouse, shipping, account receivables, and general ledger. Meanwhile, for the cash receipt system flowchart, we have divided it to four division, which is mailroom, cash receipts. Account receivable and general ledger. One of the strengths of internal control procedures is independent verification. The clerk matches the invoice copy, shipping notice, and the item release slip to ensure the customers are billed only for the quantity shipped. The second one is transaction authorization. The preparation of two copies of remittance list is to verify that customer checks and remittance advice 
match in amount and present valid transaction. And the last one is segregation of duties. The cash receipt clerk and accounts receivable clerk have different duties and each of them need to send the general voucher and summary to the general ledger executive to reconcile. Hi, I'm Natasha Binti Mohamad Sofi, metric number 273080. So now I'm going to present part A, question C, which the question is identify at least five possible weaknesses in the twinkle apparel revenue cycle, examine and provide an appropriate argument of each weaknesses highlighted. The first weaknesses is do not checking and improving customers' credit retainers. The sales clerk verifies the validity of the customers by only checking the existence of the franchise's name in the franchise's list. However, before the sales clerk proceeds the order further, the customer's credit retainers should be checked. What I mean is, if the customer has a history in do not paying their debt, or late paying their debt, or maybe having trouble in paying their bills, then the customer order should not be taken. The sales order must be considered too if the customer current sale do not reach the pre-established limit. These considerations must be taken because to ensure that the customer able to pay their debts time. After all these considerations, then the order can be proceeded to the next step. The next weakness is, do not check in inventory ability. The sales representative need to check if sufficient inventory is available to fill an order. If the inventory available is enough to fill an order, then the sales order is completed. However, if the inventory available are not enough to fill an order, a back order of those items must be created. The third witness is, the main entrance door is unlocked. When the main entrance door is unlocked, this will allow any of employees can enter the warehouse. This will cause inventory short as anyone can enter the warehouse and steal the inventory. Next, insufficient workers. There is insufficient workers at the shipping area. This will make secure workers can freely get into the pickup area and collect the parcels from the place that has been directed. When the courier workers pick up the parcel by themselves without the supervision from the person in charge, this will cause the courier workers to take the wrong parcel or take the parcels more than the quantity that actually they should take. Last but not least, reconcile the general voucher before updating the general ledger controls account. The general executives should update the general ledger controls account before do the reconciliation. If they do not update the general ledger before the reconciliation, this will cause information or amount that report to financial report are not accurate. Now I proceed to question D. Describe risk exposures that might have resulted from each of the internal control witnesses identified in C. The first risk is risk of selling to uncreditworthy customers. Sales to customers with poor credit record can lead to excessive bad debt losses. There will be an increasing risk in Twinkle Apparel Sedan Berhad incur bad debts. This risk more apparent when the sales representative has desire in maximizing sales to customers while being responsible for minimizing the risk of bad debts arising. Next, risk of shipping wrong item or wrong quantity. Twinkle Apparel Sedan Berhad maybe will face the risk of shipping the incorrect item or wrong quantity ordered by customers due to stock out problem as the sales club does not check the inventory ability before proceed the order. The third risk is risk of misappropriation on inventory. This risk will occur due to loss or theft on inventory at Twinkle's warehouse cannot be traced. The lack of security of the inventory will make Twinkle a corrosive and perhaps suffer a great deal loss due to inventory shrinkage caused by the theft within the warehouse by their own internal employees. Next, risk of the lost parcel or thief on the parcel. When, the, when there is no supervision at the place where the parcels be collected, this will tend to the carrier workers take the wrong parcel or steal the parcel. Due to this incident, Twinkle Apparel Sedan Berhad will face the loss because they must take the responsibility for the missing parcels. Last but not least, risk of amount in the financial reporting are not accurate. 
when the general region not be updated, this will make the report the wrong figure to financial reporting. The figure that they report must be deduct the amount of the transaction that already occurred. Hello, my name is Nur Atasha Islin Binti Raizi. I am going to present part A, question E, which is suggest and explain appropriate internal control procedures associated with each of the weaknesses identified in C. Firstly, checking and approving customers' credit worthiness. Winkle Apparel's number hat must check on their customers' credit worthiness before approving their customers' order because this will give problem to them when the customers or the franchisee cannot pay back to them on what they have ordered. Twinkle Apparel can do the checking with these four methods which is run a credit report, obtain account receivable aging report, check references and lastly conduct a card check using creative investigative method. Secondly, physical audits of assets. Physical audits is hand counting cash and any tangible assets. In this case, the company want to evaluate their stock or inventory capability. In order to do so, company can apply this method. The auditing of asset is a physical verification process, which is the company will comparing the official list of assets of an organization with the actual physically located asset. By carrying out this examination, company can confirm that the inventory listed on the balance sheet of an organization are real or physically exist. Thirdly, accounting system access control. It is be done by controlling access to passwords, lockups, and electronic access locks to various parts of an accounting system. It is can keep unauthorized users out of the system while providing a way to audit the systems used to identify the source of errors or discrepancies. Strong tracking of access may also in the first place serve to detect attempts at fraudulent access. But, as Twinkle Apparel are doing the major renovation of the warehouse, they can hire maybe two or three workers to guide in the area to ensure that only the permitted employees are allowed into the warehouse. Fourthly, Human Resource Control Twinkle Apparel's Human Resource Department can do the Human Resource Control to ensure that the career workers that pick up their parcel is qualified employee and can do a very good job. To ensure that they, they did not pick up the wrong parcel or take the parcels more than the quantity they actually they should take. This also can prevent the loss of the parcel as they are being checked about their criminal record too. For fifthly, auditing. Financial audits such as cash reconciliations. Twinkle Apparel must do the auditing for the general ledger in order to ensure that they are not reporting the wrong figure to financial report. A crucial part of general ledger auditing includes ensuring the accuracy of their financial statement. Their explanation is that if the beginning and ending balance sheet statements are correct, then net income for the duration must be accurate. But if it's otherwise, they will know that there must be something wrong with their balance sheet and can do the correction and improvement. Hi, my name is Nurhanis Binti Maranzi. My metric number is 273482. I'm going to present part two. In this part, there are five possible ways of applying information technology to transform a business from a conventional platform to a digital business operation, particularly in the aspect of managing the revenue and expenditure side. Digital transformation is defined as the integration of digital technology into all areas of a business, fundamentally changing how a company operates and delivers value to customers. This transformation does not add any more technology into the business. Instead, digital transformation involves adding new technology into the youth platform and it is about value people, optimization, and the capability to rapidly adapt when such is needed through an intelligent use of technologies and information. 
first phrase is using infinite data interchange (EDI). DI is a computer-to-computer exchange of business documents in a standard electronic format between trading partners. There are some benefits which are reduced cost, increased profitability, reduced errors, and improved relationship with business partners. It can lower the cost of performing transactions because they decrease errors like reduce the reliance upon paperwork and cut down on the amount of data entry the employees have to perform. As you know, manual data entry increases the risk of errors, which cause company time. In addition, EDI systems speed out transaction. You can exchange transaction in a matter of minutes instead of waiting for an email or fax to go through. The EDI process looks like this. The buyer's internal system will make some purchase orders for the supplier's internal system. And the supplier's internal system will send the invoice directly to the buyer's internal system. As we can see, there are no paper and no people involved in this EDI system. Secondly, vertical networking of smart production systems. It refers to the ability of smart factories to be able to respond to changes in demand, supply, and cost, which allows smart factories to be needs oriented into the life and customer specific in terms of production operation. That is also emphasized on resource efficiency and the efficient use of materials, energy, and human resources. Within a department, all machines are linked to one another and are directly connected. If there is a failure with the shield, the company can check the machine's data and react rapidly to changes in demand or stop reverse on and so forth. The significant emphasis is attached to resource efficiency and, in particular, the efficient use of materials, energy, and human resources. The demand on workers engaged in operational parts, such as production, warehousing, halal, logistics, and maintenance are also changing, meaning that new skills in efficient working are required. Therefore, the company needs to have more specific skills in work quickly. Cloud computing. Cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage on cloud storage and computing power, without direct active management by the user. One of the benefits of using computing services is that the firm can avoid the upfront cost and complexity of owning and maintaining their own IT infrastructure and pay the cost on you when they use it. The companies should make some investment in the system to ensure the sustainability of business operation in a long term, as they are still restricting from control innovation. In preparing for this scenario, many companies investing to create new platforms based on an operating system as a foundation, on a group of infrastructure services, and on a set of package and custom applications. Cloud platforms can potentially support multiple users at a wider scale, namely at internet scale. The fourth way is corporate venture. Corporate venturing is a corporate investment providing huge opportunity to set up business and businesses looking for high growth attendees. A well-established firm making a strategic of corporate venture investment seeks to identify and to maximize the benefits between both company and the new venture. Venturing also related to accelerating the company's response to change and threats which give faster ways to not making useless investments. As is well known, many companies find it difficult to abandon their old investments. Therefore, the companies in Malaysia must have a strategic long-term plan in producing and supplying the goods to the customer, especially during this pandemic year. Some of the biggest corporate venture capital players include Google Ventures, Qualcomm Ventures, Salesforce, and Intel Capital. The companies in Malaysia must find new investments to make in the market to ensure that the expenditure and revenue cycle of the company works well 
especially during this pandemic year. Lastly, the company can use smart supply chain. Supply chain is a network between a company and its supplier to produce and distribute a specific product to the final buyer. There are three main technologies commonly used by smart systems in business operation processes related with logistics, which are barcodes, radio frequency identification (RFID), and sensor network. Wireless sensor networks are the most promising approach for logistic processes. The sensor nodes are electronic devices with embedded sensing and computing systems that collaborate within the network. Sensor networks cover identification, tracing, location tracking, monitoring, and real-time response. Most of the companies must have a good shipping service to the company to the customers to ensure the company's reputation of the percentage of people doing online shopping increase rapidly through the pandemic. The companies in Malaysia can apply the sensor network in their products to track and trace the items more reliably. By applying this digital business operation, the risk of losses can be reduced as the data is collected in the That's all from us. Thank you.